so as you can see here these are the ingredients that you will need you will need some sugar one egg three and a half cups of flour evaporated milk um, sea salt well I'm using sea salt just a little bit of it butter active dry yeast and as you can see I have my thermometer in the water because I'm waiting for the right temperature so I can add the sugar and yeast together and I will be doing everything in my mixer because it's just easier for me um, to have it done so today's recipe of um, it's gonna be a three-part recipe I'm gonna try to attempt to make three items with um, one dough so we will see how that works out you guys So I added um, the sugar into the water once the water was at the right temperature. My yeast packet says between 105 and 110 um, is the temperature, otherwise it will kill the yeast. Um, what I ended up doing was I added my quarter cup of sugar into the water and mixed it in together and then I added um, the yeast, mixed it a little bit and now I'm gonna leave it alone for 10 minutes and let it froth up. Um, if the yeast does not froth up um, or you don't see any bubbles or you see how it's like starting to eat like basically because it's an organism so it's starting to eat the sugar and come to life with the sugar if you don't see any of this um, discard it just make sure to look at the expiration dates in your yeast packet because sometimes um, it may be old um, even some that are brand new that have an expiration date in the future or the expiration date has not come up um, may be dead because um, it is a live organism basically so um, yeah just make sure to leave it alone for 10 minutes and that's what I'm gonna do I am going to set the timer up for 10 minutes and I will definitely be back um, once the 10 minutes is done so let's see let's do this timer for 10 minutes and once this is done, then I will start, okay? So, let's hit start and wait. See you guys then. Okay, you guys, so this is what you want to see after the 10 minutes. This is how you know your yeast is alive, you guys. And you can smell it. It smells like... um the dough if you ever eat um, sourdough bread that's what it smells like so in here I have the evaporated milk which I will end up putting in here along with one egg and whisking it I have a half a cup of evaporated milk okay you guys so I'm gonna give the camera to my boyfriend and he's gonna try to keep the hand steady <laughs> so I can mix this all together. I just have one large egg and hopefully no yolk went in there. No um, eggshell actually, so you just wanna mix it, mix it all together. in a bowl I just rather do it in a measuring cup it just makes it easier for me to just measure everything and get it over with and then I'm going to add the evaporated milk okay so what I ended up doing was I added um, the salt into the flour and now I am going to add the flour mix into my mixer and let the good times roll, you guys, because now I have to add, once this is mixed in, the wet mixture into the dry mixture, which is the flour. 
then I'll be able to add the butter and we will be all set. So I'll see you guys when this is all done. Thanks. Okay, okay so I am going to um, set my mix on low at first. And I'll have it going for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and go from there and see because sometimes it takes a little bit longer so I'll be right back with you guys so here's my nice dough I have it in this bowl this is the same bowl that I had for um, my flour what I ended up doing was I cleaned it out I put a little bit of oil this is why the dough is shiny you want to do that so you don't it doesn't form a crust so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it up with a tea towel that does not throw lint this is not a good one this is just for my me washing my hands since I was touching the oil um, I left the dough in the mixer with the dough um, with this the dough hook um, for 15 minutes you guys so and I put it on two I believe I left it on there for 15 minutes on two you can knead this by hand unfortunately I have a little bit of tendonitis in my one of my hands so I if I can use the mixer I will do it so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a nice warm place covered with a tea towel I had previously before I started this mix I had my oven on 200 I turned it off now it's nice and cozy and warm so I'm gonna stick this in my oven so it can proof and I will see you guys in a few so this is the dough it's already proof is double its size I put it in the oven um, it was in there for two hours as you can see it's deflating because it's out of there and it has all this air bubbles so I'm just gonna um, put it on the hold on, on the table I'm gonna flip it upside down it does have a little bit of a crust I did put some oil but apparently it wasn't enough um, but as you can see look at that that nice yeasty Ugh. I love it so I'm gonna continue to flip it over and roll it out and cut out the beignets so see you when I'm done with this I'm just kneading it a little bit and you might need some more flour a little bit sticky you need to roll this dough out okay you guys so I forgot to film when I was cutting these um, I do have a cookie cutter here we go that I bought a while back um, from Amazon was it Amazon I bought a few from Amazon I believe that one was from the Disney store though so I cut up the beignets because that's what we're making you guys beignets but as you see these two they're twins forever a lot of them didn't come out perfect which is fine this is all trial and error you guys so that's what I'm doing and right now I am working with the same dough I'm gonna do three different um snacks but there'll be different videos because this is getting a little bit long and it's about to be 11 o'clock at night so <laughs> I will continue this on tomorrow morning you guys so as you can see there this is the dough um, it's the next day what I ended up doing is I put a little bit more oil on the dough so it didn't form that crust I covered up the bowl that it was in um, with aluminum foil very tightly so no air went in and it proofed up <laughs> some more overnight um, 
because as you know from before, um, basically I started this process late in the day and of course by starting it late in the day it took me until 11 o'clock at night because I was doing other things so it wasn't just this um, dough only that I was doing but you know life happens I don't know how that mark happened but we're gonna deal with it <laughs> life happens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some more um, on camera because I'm not sure if my camera died yesterday on top of that so I'm not sure if I got any <laughs> coverage of this so I'm just gonna do it anyways I have this cutter it's just a little it has measuring equivalents or whatever if you don't have this a knife is fine to cut it don't worry about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few Mickey shaped and then I'm gonna do the rest um, that are square shaped but first let me put a little bit of flour on the surface so that way I'm on the cookie <laughs> so that way um it does not stick and everything is nice I'm ready to go and I'm just gonna plop the rest of the dough it's not that much because I like I said I use this dough for three different um things you guys I made I'm making the Mickey shaped beignets I'm also um, making some donuts if you like those um, cinnamon sugar sticks from Domino's or I think like a lot of these different places Domino's or pizza have one of those um, have them you can use this dough you want to do cinnamon rolls you can use this dough this dough is very forgiving you guys it you can use it for anything. I've never done beignets. This is the first time, but I assume this is how you do it. You know, when you have um, a love for baking, you tend to try new things. And I was so scared to try yeast. I'm sorry if the camera is is moving too much. Um, to try yeast, you guys, because I never worked with it and I know it may not come out I have parchment paper right here let me just put it in here I'll give you a close-up in a little bit um so I know that was my main concern my main concern was oh my god is this gonna come out but I decided to conquer my fear of yeast and just try it and you know what it's okay if it doesn't happen the first time or the second time or even the third time because I've tried um, so many different recipes that are not <laughs> are not like the best in the world but I've tried to make them and it's fine to me the kitchen is very relaxing I love the kitchen oh, I messed up the ears a little bit but that's okay so this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna use the little bit to cut rounds. Yep, yeah, it works. I'm good. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut round little donuts so I can get this. <laughs> They're actually fairly easy. I'm sure you can use a cup whatever you have and I'm sorry if the camera is moving you guys I'm so sorry but I don't have a stand-up um, tripod is that what you want? I don't have a stand-up tripod for my camera I do have a little small Manfrotto and I know those things are very expensive and this is just a hobby of mine you guys this is not my regular job I have a regular job and I'm a regular human being with regular bills <laughs> so I can't really just splurge on certain things um, I try my best but you understand I'm sure you do so I'm just gonna put them in they're pretty easy this is a very neat tool I use it for everything except for what it's cost for because it has like measurements I use it for everything else. <laughs> I use it for a scraper. I use it to um, basically 
cut into things like the other the other little beignets or donuts or whatever you want to call them um we're getting they were getting stuck to the table i guess i didn't need the dough enough and they were getting stuck so i used it as a nice little scraper so here's what i have you guys this is what i have i'm just gonna place it here and my beautiful little Mickey ones are so cute. They're like gonna be little miniature, um, miniature beignets. So I'm gonna get my oil ready, you guys. And I am going to get the party started, fry these up, and I'll be back once this is done. Okay, you guys, so this is the ending result they fried up pretty quickly don't keep your eyes out of them because the first batch you guys very very dark but they're not as poofy as I thought they were it probably would have been because I did um basically went ahead and flattened out the dough a little bit so if you want a little bit more poofy it does get a little bit poofy these are the round ones that I did also. So you see how these look a little bit poofier. So yeah, this is it you guys, I'm excited. They're kind of small. I know that the ones in Disney, they're a little bit bigger, but these will do. And I don't think that I did not make a mess. I just cleaned this table because it was ridiculously filled with powdered sugar um please make sure to put it in a bag um and yeah so enjoy you guys if you want to make this i made it the dough the day before and i will be enjoying them today so until next time you guys thanks for joining me bye